Welcome back, friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming. We are playing Football Manager 2019, and we are back in K-Town, managing the first foosball club, Kaiserslautern, in the third Bundesliga. Ah, uh, third German, what do they call it? Third Foosball Liga. That's what we're in right now. So, I said we were going to be back after the January transfer window. I lied. We came back shortly before it, so we can kind of look at what the kind of the state of the team and what we're looking at for that. But um, the previous, I promised to tell you what that previous skin was called, and I forgot. Um, I've actually taken it off at the moment. It's called OPZ Elite, and um, I actually really like a lot of it. Unfortunately, um, when you click on your players, um, your squad members, it gives you all their hidden stats. Um, it would give you the hiddens right there, and I was trying not to play with those. So once I actually started looking and scouting for the January transfer window, I realized it was giving me information I really didn't want to see. So we've switched back. Well, we haven't switched back. We haven't used Yaks yet um, in the series, but we're going to try it here for a little bit. Um, as I recall, I wasn't a huge fan of what it does in the middle games. I think I need to get something that's a little lighter color, though, so my little intro, my, my black on whatever it is for the intro with the devil and the football manager shows up a little bit better, like it does in the first video where we were just using the bone stock light um, uh, theme. So we'll get to that. Um, but uh, let's see how we're doing right now. So um, you can see this is kind of, hello, Jello. She's got a little bell going on, so you, you know when she's around. Jello's the cat at the end of the videos, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, so this is kind of what our last starting 11 was, you can see there. And this is pretty comparable to what we've been running. Um, and you can see they played pretty well right there. There's a 9.2, a 9.4, a 9.1. You know, we did okay. Um, down here, I like the screen actually a lot on the Yaks, which is why we're on here, just to kind of highlight the screen, the way he did this. I really like this. We've got, we've got team info down here. Um, We've got key employees, so head coach, hot prospect, captain, vice captain, key player. We've got, we've got Jello. As soon as I start to record, as soon as I start to talk, she says, oh, I need to be a part of that. He should be paying attention to me, not to them. Um, oh, we've got, we've got our last matches down here. That's a little quick preview of how things have been going lately. Um, Lee, you can't be up here, baby. Come on, hop down. Keep going. All the way down. Good girl. Um, league history, we don't care so much. Well, I mean, we care long term because that's the whole reason for the series. But um, we got our teams in here. Uh, here's our senior squad. Uh, 18 matches played. We're about halfway through the season, if not exactly halfway through the season. Um, top goal scored, Julius Biata, most assists. We've got four for three different players and four players of the match for Hemlin and Zook. Our, our wingers, which is pretty cool. Under 19 squad, uh, eight goals for two different players, five assists for Danny Menig, most players of the match, two for three different guys. Kaiser Slaughter two. Now, I know in the first video when we were looking at the pictures, we saw Cool Vetter. I said I didn't think he was on the team. I lied. As it turns out, he is on our Kaiser Slaughter two team, and he is our top goal scorer by a lot at that level. 22 goals for Christian Cool Vetter, um, six assists each. For uh, Jeffrey and Carlo, uh, Sickinger's been really improving well over the season as far as his training's going. And Cool Vetter, of course, with 22 goals, has managed to pick up seven players of the match as well. Anyway, I just like this screen here. We've got landmarks, competitions, nothing to speak of in most of these. Um, just kind of the captaincy stuff there, I guess. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and look and see how the matches have been going if we take a look at the scheduling um the last two matches we saw were these two since then we played pretty well uh beat versberg two nothing mads and zook getting the goals uh two one against fortuna cole mads and zook getting the goals now you notice most of mads goals are penalty kicks he's not he's not putting him we're playing him mostly as a deep line playmaker at this point but even when he's not he doesn't get goals from the field of play, per se. He's getting them as a penalty taker. Um, and so the vast majority of his goals come that direction. Um, and again, here we go. Penalty, penalty, penalty. We're taking advantage of putting big pressure in the goal. They make mistakes. Mads makes them pay. Um, so in this case, Mads and Timmy got goals. 
Um, then we had a 1-1 draw against Jenna. Not very happy about that, you know. Put things in focus there with Carl Zeiss. Get it? Um, anyway, uh, the focus in this case was on our mediocre play. Uh, we did bring in Lomans Robin, who is our assistant captain or vice captain. We don't see him a lot, unfortunately. Um, but he played very well, got a 7.1 and a goal. Otherwise, the rest of the team was pretty mediocre. They, they really did a good job, and we all the scoring happened late. I thought we got the late winner. They instantly equalized, a little bit disappointing. But we followed that up after yelling at the team um, with just an absolute demolishing of Mepin. And you can see that. Uh, I mean, <sighs> Spalvis got off the snide. He only had two goals going into this. Um, so he got a goal in the second minute. Biata got a goal in the fifth minute, another one in the 13th minute. We're up 3 0 13 minutes into the match. Um, and then the second half, we managed to pour on late. So Sternberg, uh, Zook got one, Sternberg got one, and Spalvis got his second first brace in the 83rd. And you can see we just absolutely, absolutely destroyed them, which was pretty cool. So today we are going to try to play Halzecker and Erdogan. Uh, Halzecker, as you can see, is in 19th place, almost last, and Erdogan is almost first, because we're in first. So essentially a bottom of the league and a top of the table, or bottom of the table and a top of the table clash for us. We'll get a pretty good idea of where things stand. And let's go ahead and get into matches today. Um, match preview. Um, and again, you can see we've got we've got Halzecker down here. Not going so well for them. I was supposed to have a little bit of rain. We're in good form. They're in inconsistent form. They are a fairly quick team, so it might not it might not be a bad idea to maybe run a slightly lower back line, but you know what? We're not going to mess with what's been running. Um, um, pressing forward versus poacher for Spalvis. Ball winning versus Mazzala. Uh, well, I've been running, um, this is a Mazzala, not because we run a Mazzala with Feshner, but I've been running uh, Bergman up there quite a bit. And Bergman's a, a creative kind of more scoring player, six finishing, but um, but much more of a, a playmaker. I wanted him up a little bit farther. So it's not that we run this as a Mazzala very often. Um, it is what it is. I had been running Feshner back here as defensive um, center, and he's played very well back there, but I decided to bring Osmer and get him a couple matches. Um, you know, we've been trying to play Izik a little bit as well. Um, he's been developing okay. Um, let me take a quick look at him. Um, so he's doing okay. Uh, Leonard Grill has not been developing quite as fast this season as he did last season. Um, you can see there's a lot of low numbers there. Um, you know what, let's give him a match today. Let's give him a match. We did give um, Wolfgang a couple matches. He played pretty well. He likes big matches, as we know, so we put him in for kind of the top of the league type of stuff. Um, he's played well there. Uh, Elias is almost back. Uh, you can see he is into rehabilitation, but he's still out two to five more weeks in rehabilitation. Um, Dismal has been out since he has the beginning of the season, two to four more months. Pick's been out, unfortunately, for a little while. Um, that's a little bit depressing. Um, it brings up kind of what we're looking for, January transfer window, and originally I was thinking, well, maybe we need depth for those wings, those front wings. But, Jello, I know, baby, but not right now. Um, she has not even shown her face all morning, and now as soon as we want to record, she feels the need to get all the attention. Um, anyway, I thought we'd need something up there, but, you know, I start looking at it, and even though you don't see a lot here, um, Bergman plays just fine on the right side. Uh, Loman's Robin, not so much. But Tesseru can play any of on the left side. Shad can play in the back on either side and the front on the right. Hanal can play either position on the back. Uh, Izik, not so much. Um, Feshner, uh, he can play on the back right if we need him to. Uh, Zook can play either side front or left. Hemline can play either side in the front. Sternberg can play pretty much anywhere on the left. Florian can play anywhere on the right and anywhere in the back on the left. So you know what? We've essentially, I'm not all that worried. We're okay. We've got reasonable depth at all these positions because we have very flexible players who can play a lot of positions. So I think we're okay. Um, the biggest thing I'm worried about is going to be Lucas Spalvis and what do we do with him? You can see right now, he is, I believe, our high, next to highest paid player, um, tied here with uh, Kevin Krause. Um, but we haven't been getting much out of him. 6'8", everybody here is in the sevens except him. 6'8", does have four goals and four assists. So that's not bad. That's essentially 
a point of some sort, whether it be a goal or assist every other match. Um, but, you know, he's got a 1.5 million value. He's close to the top of the inner earning, and we're not getting as much out of him as we have out of others. You can see, however, if we come way down here to the bottom, so I guess he's not that far down, Timmy Thiel right here, um, he's playing a 7.08, and he gets a point essentially every start. Um, every other, if we're looking at total appearances, but most of these appearances are coming in for the last five or 10 minutes. So um, assist, 0.16 versus 0.31. That's not as good. Let's see, goals. Uh, he's got a goal, half a goal every 90 minutes. Um, well, I don't know. I'm beginning to rethink that now. Half a goal every 92 minutes, or uh, per 90. Almost a full goal every 90 minutes versus half a goal. You know what? I've talked myself out of that. I was thinking we were getting not as much out of him as we were out of Timmy, but um, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. We're getting about twice out, uh, despite what we're looking at there. Maybe some of these sub appearances are a little longer than I, I was thinking they are. Um, so I don't know. That I, who knows? Let's go back to submit team. We're going to run with what we had. No real changes, and let's play. Let's play some football. Okay, they've got kind of the the backwards arrow showing our team the direction of where their goal is. It's right here. I think that's useful, just in case we needed it. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need a whole lot. Our team should be pretty well self-motivated at this point. Everybody should be pretty good. Kraus is the only one that's kind of morale okay as far as starters go. Um, and Hanal, but they keep saying he needs to lose his place on the Canadian team. And we're not starting him a whole lot. Wow, this is, it's, it's a dark, dark match today. Um, slightly different kind of view at the top here on this mode. Now, this is my biggest issue about this is I can't really look at my match stats very well here um, because I can't make them bigger. They're forced on this one. Uh, Feshner up to Spalvis. Spalvis over to Feshner again. Oh, ho, ho! Feshner decides he wants to be a scorer. Um, just manages to put that one at the top. Sternberg up to Spalvis. Spalvis all the way across the other side. We've got Florian Dick there. He charges forward, tries to get it back in. Heimline manages to pick it up. Feeds it in. Nobody's there. Sternberg's on the other side, though. He tries to put it in. Oh, Zook manages to get one blocked off the, the post. And then Spalvis, I think, had one blocked by the goalkeeper. Uh, they didn't give us any clear-cut chances there. I'm a little bit surprised. Um, into Spalvis, but they managed to head that away. Yopik manages to feed that out to Ludwig. We have guys back. Um, he doesn't have a lot of support. He's got one guy on the far side. Dick manages to make a good tackle, takes it away from him, and we bring the press back the other way. So, so far... Oh, beautiful free kick there. Just about puts that one in. Fetch manages to hang on to it. They managed to keep the pressure up for a second. That was their first shot of the match, though. Um, we're not scoring, though, despite all of our shots. I still can't believe it didn't give us any clear-cut or half chances for that section there in front of the goal that was so scrappy. Um, Zook just steps in front of that one and takes it away. He's playing with a slight injury. Biata manages to get that one. He gets clear, and he gets taken down. And hopefully, hopefully that means... We're going to get another uh, penalty shot here from Mads. He hasn't been perfect. He has missed a couple. Um, but all in all, he's been much better than Spalvis was for me in my half playthrough last season, which is why Spalvis isn't up there. Although, if we were, um, you know, his numbers would look a little bit better probably. Even if he missed a couple, you know, he'd be looking at probably six or seven goals um, rather than four. And uh, we've done okay uh, off of set pieces, but more off the penalties. We get a lot of penalties uh, in the box. Um, I think we're probably going to have to take Zook out in this one. You know what? I don't feel the need to risk him. This must be a minor injury he just picked up, actually, because I don't remember him getting that. Um, let's go ahead. Um, who do I want on the left? Let's swat him with Sternberg, and then we'll put... We'll put Flavius in there. Flavius didn't play well the one match he's been in. Uh, I say he single-handedly cost us a game. Um, but let's go ahead and run with that for now. You know, keeping... You know, we've still got Sternberg up there to help kind of solidify things on that side. Yeah, I know. He'd be better in a more familiar position, but it is what it is. Normally, this would be pick. We'd put in Florian pick. We have Florian Pick and Florian Dick on the same team, by the way, guys. Um, but, you know, we're, we're working with what we have. 
So I think we'll be okay. You know, we, we could have flopped our wing over and then put, um, and maybe, well, well, we'll look at it here in a second. Uh, I think we're fine. Encourage players. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, we could have, and if, if Flavius doesn't look like he's doing okay, we can put Sternberg back there. Uh, Hemline, I think, can play on both sides. We could flip him over here, or we could even just put Shad in. Shad can play both sides, too. Um, he, he's more comfortable on the right. So I would rather put him on the right and slide Hemline over here. Um, but it's possible. We'll just have to see how it goes. See what Flavius does in the second half. Push it back, guys. Um, 16 shots, 7 on target, 1 woodwork, 1 clear cut, um, which was the penalty shot. Uh, again, short short throw in there. Feshner, Sternberg. Okay, keeping keeping the pressure on. Not able to get into the box. There we go. Dick Mangus is getting in. Does he get a cross? Ah, oh, he tried to feed in the cross. It was nice. Unable to get to our guy. Good defense there. They do have a lot of guys back. They got five guys in the box. Oh, we got a deflection. Or was that a header for Spalvis? Oh, they're saying it's a header for Spalvis. I thought it was an own goal by Star Ots. Uh, Star Oatskit. I can't say that. By Star. But let's get another view of it. But Tesseru feeds it in up to Sternberg. Nice little cross in. Yep, Spalvis manages to get it. Maybe because he was on a yellow, he didn't feel like he should quite as aggressively get that. We're onside. Good. I didn't think there was any doubt on that. There were three players in front of him there. Um, and we're up 2 nothing. So I think, I think we're going to be okay. I'm a little bit complacent here. I wish there was a don't get complacent shout, and I haven't found one. Um, you know, I thought maybe tighten up would do that. It doesn't. Um, concentrate doesn't seem to really help with that, although we'll throw it out there and see if it fit. Nope, we're just overwhelmed. I um, think we'll make another sub. Let's go ahead and bring Loman's Robin in. We're going to put him in for Feshner. Um, Feshner and uh, Bergman are our two kind of most... Um, Highest amount of potential players, we'll say, from where they are to where they could be. So it's nice to get them some play. Um, Spalvis is playing well. I think we leave him in. Do I want to put in... We'll save this one for a little bit longer. Maybe we'll put Bergman in around the 80th minute. Like I said, I've been trying to get him more play time. We got him some starts. The other thing is we could put Izik in for uh, Ozdemir. Um, that's not necessarily a terrible idea either. Um, and maybe we'll do that here at about 75 yeah, we'll go for that. Let's put Izik in. Make this a non-ball player, just central defender. I don't really want him doing too much with, with passing because he, he's bad at it. Um, they hit the woodwork in there at some point. Um, we've had a half chance. I assume that was the goal we scored. Beata's got it. He takes the free kick. He just puts it out to Sternberg, resets, looks at it. He takes the shot, puts it, puts it high. Um, still complacent, but, you know, this one's almost over. So, you know, it'd be nice if we witnessed another, you know, six or seven goals, but but we'll take a win. Um, they do play defensively with all those guys back, five guys in the box most of the time, and a fair amount of acceleration. So even if they get beat, they don't get beat for long. But Tesseru gets a goal. Is that his first one? First goal. I think that's the 12th player to have a goal on the season for us. Um, we got one for Loman's Robin back there not too long ago. So nice little shot. Albic feeds it out. Edge of the box. First touch. Left peg. Puts it away. Well done, Flavius. Hopefully that will help him. Um, that gets him a good game there. Doesn't quite make up for costing us a match earlier, but uh, giving up two goals. One just through bad positioning or bad play, and the other with a penalty. Um, can they get one back? Can they get a little cheeky goal? I don't think so. I don't think there's enough time left. Um... And they don't really appear to be pushing it. Uh, blow the whistle, ref. They're not doing anything. They're not, they're not even trying. Just blow it. There we go. We did pretty well. I'll take it. A lot of green numbers over there. Three nothing. Dressing room. Uh, I think good good win. I don't I don't know why you'd never say anything on a win, why you just walk out of the eh, whatever. Yes, we're supposed to win it, but you should still congratulate guys on a win. Um, and we got some sort of, we, we unlocked the achievement attack. Um, let me see if I can find out what it is. 
Um, okay. You have scored a goal in 20 consecutive comp competitive matches. That's what we that's what we unlocked there. So not bad. Uh, we hammer Halzecker. Uh, Kaiser Slaughter score easy. Seven gets KC firing, or FC, excuse me. And we maintain our unbeaten record. So we're we're doing we're doing pretty well. There's a draw in there, but uh, so it's not a it's not a winning record, but an unbeaten record. So I'm okay with that. Uh, league table wise, we still should be at the top. We really haven't, you know. There's only five points between us and Erdogan. You know, that's two matches. And in fact, there's only five points between us and fifth place. So while we've been doing okay, nobody is falling off. We've still, this is five, five teams very much still in this. And, and Prusin and Karlsruhe are not far behind that. If, if somebody really messes up, they're ready to pounce. So, you know, seven teams can realistically all working on these top three spots for promotion. So, um, uh, goals, let's take a look at goals real fast. Uh, you can see 10, 7, 6, 6, 5, 4, 2, 2, and four players with one assist wise. Um, we're doing okay too. We're getting goals and we're getting assists from kind of all over the place. Uh, how bad is Florian going to be? Um, 12 days to four weeks. Uh, we are beginning to get a little bit, a little bit low on people now. Um, Hmm. So, I think what we do then is... Well, maybe we maybe we do what we just said we'd do. You know, maybe we just move Sternberg up. He's not great at left either. You know what, I think we put Hemline here. And we run and we run Shad on the right. It's not ideal. We'll we'll go ahead and keep him on the bench. Well there it says fitness return to fitness imminently. We'll see how it looks in a week. We'll be back for the next match. All right, guys, we are back. Um, our young team has been doing, oh, younger teams have been doing okay. Somewhere back here, maybe. Um, oh yeah, here. Kaiser Slaughter two Hammer, Koblenz 3-1, under 19s, 1-5, nothing. So we're doing okay there, our young, our, the Utes are doing fine. Uh, let's take a look at, um, you know, Zook appears to be back. I was originally thinking what I was gonna do was I would swap Dick and Shad around and let Dick play the offense because he's a little bit better up front. Um, but you know what? I think we just go back to what we were doing. Zook appears to be healthy. We don't mess with success, we go there. Um, my only thought is, do I run Gino or Bergman? I think we run Gino the first half, maybe, and then we run Bergman, if, especially if we need to get goals. Something along those lines. I'm going to give Wolfgang the start, actually. Um, again, he likes big matches, according to his scouting report, so we're going to stick with that. Um, and yeah, I don't really see any other real changes going on. We have started Jan Oli, 14 matches. Um, we've done three for Wolfgang, and Leonard's got three as well. So I think we've been okay. You know, our starter's been our starter, and, and everybody else has got some matches. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this one. Um, they are currently third. Looks like Eintracht Braunschweig jumped up here in the last little bit. So that's okay. First versus third should be a good match. Um, we're running our 4-4-2 standard. I've knocked this back down to a ball winning. Um, let's change that. Yeah. No, I'm going to leave that as an inside wing. We'll leave him outside. Um, and maybe we'll do the same thing for... He's got decent long shots. Let's do the same thing here. Let's go um, inverted winger um, on support. How do I want to do it? No, we'll put him on attack too. We'll do inverted winger on attack. Um, 
We'll leave Dick on support again just to keep him back a little bit farther. Um, and because he, he, well, actually, you know, honestly, his physicals haven't dropped off quite as much as I expected to, but you can see 9 and 10 for pace and acceleration at the moment. Um, and Sternberg, maybe we'll leave him on attack. So attack, 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 supports and a couple defends. Um, we just have these guys as just regular central defenders back here in this one, not ball playing. And let's go ahead and submit a team. <clears throat> I've been going back and forth between this and the scumbag one. They're really similar. Um, just minor changes in roles. And so we'll see. Um, Conrad's been making a lot of tackles. Good for him. Um, pick up where you left off. Sure. Let's go. <clears throat> this one's kind of a big one at this point. Like I said, we saw Braunschweig moved up a little bit. Um, we got to keep Erdogan down here. If we can push one of these teams down a little bit more, so much the better. And throw in up to Biata. Not able to get there, but Dick manages to get the rebound up to Albic. Albic, Mads already has a yellow card seven minutes in. Um, Feshner up. We might be putting, um, we might be subbing out Mads out if we need to. Um, that might be what we do rather than Feshner. Uh, Kraus managed to keep it in. Albic. Oh, we have people that are interested in Kraus. Heimann. Oh, big shot in. Good block. Um, anyway, some some talk. Two teams interested, say maybe 775000 for him. He's got a value of 800000 but again, we know his injury prone. There we go. Feshner puts it in. He says, nope, this is, you should leave me in. You, you take out Mads if you want, although Mads got the assist there. Um, so so maybe we sell Kraus. You know, he, he's again, uh, reasonable wages, as I recall. He's worth some money if we can even get the 775 out of him. Uh, maybe we go through. We've got Isaac on the bet. You know, we can move Feshner back. You know, we've got options at defensive center. He's been really solid for us. But, um, again, he could, he could like, have a leg fall off at any time. Oh, Beata pounces on the mistake. Oh, my God, it happened so fast. I didn't even realize it was happening until he was ready to shoot. 11th goal of the season for, for Julius. Um, let's see what happens here. Conrad, back to Blue Danube there. Back feeds it back. Valaya tries to get it up. March... Morrow tries. I don't know if that was just a bad first touch or if he actually tried to feed it back right away. But Beato was there. Pounce. That pressing... I don't actually... He's actually a shadow striker. He's not even a pressing forward. He just makes it. Fashion up to Spalvis. Nice move. He feeds it out to Zook, who crosses it back across. A little bit too far for Henline to get. But we're set up again. Dick up to Fashioner, who takes another big shot. He's feeling his oats there. He puts that one wide right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're 14 minutes in, and we are dominating third place Erdogan. And Kraus is complacent at this point. Um, Zook and Albic are both on yellows already. So, yeah, maybe we put Bergman in for Albic. Oh, Zook is injured again. Let's let's make our sub here. Um, same thing. Knee injury this time. Man, things are just not going great for us. Um, how do I want to do it? I think for now, I'm going to swap here, and then we'll, we'll put in Bergman, and we'll run it that way. Maybe at halftime, we swap him over here, and we put in Chad or something else, but I think initially, we do this. Alternatively, we could also pull Beata back. Oh, that's an idea. Undo. Undo. Let's pull... I think Beata's left-footed. Oh, fairly strong and very strong. Let's put him there. Let's put Timmy there. Do we leave him as a shadow striker? Yeah, a false nine. Yeah, we just leave him there. Does he have decent long shots or is it just... No, not really. Um, we have him as a poacher. Let's go pressing forward. On support? Yeah. Good. Let's do that. Play. So, Timmy in for Zook, but we're actually going to pull Beata back onto the wing. Hemline's got that one. Feeds it back across to Dick. Try to set up. 
See if we can move back out of our side. Fashion up Talbeek. Mads pushes it up to the edge to Heimline. Does he try to push it forward? No, nope, he just runs in with it, takes it all the way in, and takes the shot. Oh my god, what a save by Veloth. It looked like he got a hand on it, stopped it, and then grabbed it. Like he wasn't able to get it on first grab. Um, so good job by him. Just gets his hands in the way and is able to control it. Uh, they're going to play with slightly less width. That's fine. Well, we can create chances from the outside with our with our guys. Um, Osmer is a little bit tired. We might swap him out. Maybe we put Isik in for this one. Uh, we've got a two-goal lead at half. Eventually, we'll hit half. Yeah, I think that's probably a good sub. And then we save our last sub till you know, maybe 80, 75th, 80 minute, whatever. Something along those lines. Dressing room. Um, expected to prove... I don't know what the point would be. I think I'm just going to say keep it up. Um, everybody was good with that. Um, and then tactics-wise... Uh, he's back up to 82. Let's live with it for now. Um, and then we'll swap him when he gets back down in the 70s. You know, I mean, we could run him down to the 60s if we really wanted to, but I'm more worried about Albic getting subbed off at this point. Um, he's played well. Get him off in yellow. I don't really want to play a man down and let them back into this one. But we'll take it up to maybe 65, and then we'll sub Mads. We'll just, run, we'll just drop Bergman in there, Loman's Robin. Bruce and Moonster up on Würzburg. Let's let's go league table. So at the moment, Onesbrook and Munich jump up. Okay, let's do we'll make a sub. I'm going to take Mads out for Bergman since he's more of a fit for that, and we'll confirm. We play. Give Mads a little round of applause for well for for a good job. We get our yellow off the bench there. They try to feed it in. Oh, Blue Danube strikes. Nice little. Uh, that was a throw in, right? No, no free kick from the edge there. Danube gets ahead on. We got two guys. Neither of them really make an attempt to contest that. Um, a little disappointed with that. Uh, might be time to take uh, Ozdemir off at maybe 75. We'll take it up a couple more minutes. Yep. And we'll go for a more defensive uh, Gabriel Isaac there who um, can have the ball. Although I didn't think it was a problem with Ozdemir either, although he's got a heading of 15, jumping reach of 14. It shouldn't have been a problem. He just didn't feel like doing it. Biata, oh my god, he just took the shot and just about squeezed it through there. Good save by the goalkeeper. Uh, oh, it says it hit the woodwork. Okay, okay, I thought the goalkeeper got a hand on it. He would have if, if, if it was in a little bit farther. Um, Biata's unable to get ahead on that one. Feshner takes good tackle, but Krumpicki manages to maintain control of it. He takes a shot, but he puts it wide left. There's a lot of heat on it. They've only had four shots, one on target. Uh, we've had one off the woodwork, three half chances, no clear cut, eight long shots. They're, they're pushing here. And that's it. All over. 2-1. Kaiser Slaughter. 20 shots versus 11 on target. 11 fouls versus 10. Um, we had a couple yellows. And that's it. That That's match. Um, dressing room. Let's tell the guys they did well. Performance is disappointing. Oh, I should have read that. I mean, it worked, but I don't believe so. I mean, this is third in the league. This is this isn't a team we're supposed to destroy. This is this is what we expected in that match. You know, I mean, that's we were home to be fair, but a win, a close win, is what we're looking for. So we now have a six point lead over third place, and we've stretched it to about seven points for fourth place. So finally beginning to get a little bit of separation with these guys. Um, promotion bid, Zook is out six to eight days. That's fine. We can live with that. Kaiser Slaughter maintain our unbeaten record. So a little bit closer on this one. I think those went about the way they should have. 3-0, 2-1. I think those are realistic responses. 
Um, yeah, we'll kind of play things by ear for the January transfer window. We'll come in at towards the end of it and see how things did. At the moment, I don't see any players I need, I have to have. Um, I think we're okay. We'll play it by ear. We'll see if we can get rid of some of our either injury prone or high salary or both players. Um, we'll move them and then we'll worry about what we want to replace or if we're just going to bring guys up. Um, but Kraus is a potential. He's played really well for us. He's worth money. We know he's got the high injury. In fact, we can come here. I'll show you um, history injuries if we haven't looked at it already. He's got this ongoing cruciate ligament issue, uh, and they're major. And you see he missed seven months, he missed 11 months, and in my initial playthrough in this series, he missed 10-plus, uh, and he ended up retiring. Um, so we got 200000 in insurance money out of him. I would rather get 800000 out of him now while he's worth something. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Cheers.